Hey everyone, I'm Ting Ting and welcome back to my channel. Everyone, my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and my old ones, thank you so much for staying with me. So guys, welcome to my Berta What Did You Do series. This is the first video and on this video I'm gonna do fast motion kitting up for this beautiful painting. So this one is, give me a second guys. This painting is Dinosaur Battle and is 106 by 70 centimeters long. So I'm going to do kidding up for this painting. This is only the half, of the, less than a half of the painting. I already started it, but guys, you don't need to know it. Shh, don't tell anyone. Berta, what did you do? Serious. Why I call this series like that? Because Berta was so kind and she sent me so many diamond paintings. Go back on my channel and you will find a video where is written Berta, what did you do? She sent me so many diamond paintings. So every single time and I'm, I'm going to work on uh, any one of those diamond paintings, they're going to call Berta, what did you do? Serious. This will be, this painting is series number one, kidding up. So guys, I hope you're going to enjoy it. Let me down in the comment section know what do you think of this video. And already apologizing for all the, how to say, all the damages and everything what's going on in the video. So when you finish watch this video, guys, don't forget to press subscribe and like button if you would like to. And when you put the comment down below, uh, Try to find dinosaur emoji. Okay, guys, hope you enjoy it and we will see you next time. Bye. Windows down, scattered clouds, smell of spring, I'm sad. Open road. You sit in close, let's go somewhere far away. Cause if all I have is you, then I'll be just fine. Windows down, scattered clouds, smell of spring, I'm sad. Open road, you sit in close, let's go somewhere far away. Cause if all I have is you, then I'll be just fine.
So guys, we're gonna stop a little bit short uh, fast play and when I will explain you what I'm doing. If you can see, sometimes I'm kind of like, if you're watching and you can see, I'm shaking the package after I'm packing in. So I will do one and I will show you what I'm doing. So if you can see, there's a lot of st static inside. Yes, this is the smaller package. With the bigger package, when package is full, I pour it in and then I'm doing my, oh, I just run up the stairs. As you can see, static. I won't show my face, but this is what I'm doing. I'm blowing my air in a package. Then you shake it. And as you can see, static kind of disappear. So you pour it all in. And now you can still see static. So you shake it all back. Blow your air in again. Shake it. And it's done. That's what I'm doing. If you notice that I'm taking the package and then I'm shaking. Yeah, there's a static inside, but sometimes you're saying you can do the same. Blow your air in a, in a jar and it should kind of like disappear, but it's as well, we have a wet weather and it's raining and everything else. But to, when you're kidding up and to get it faster out of the package, that's the fastest way without the dryer sheets and everything else. So, and I noticed yesterday when I was finishing my diamond painting and I still had a static, when you leave uh, jars open for a little while, static kind of disappeared for me at least. So yeah okay guys you can see still how much i need to do so let's go and enjoy fast play
Okay guys, my heating up is done. It took me nearly one hour without fast speed. So when I'm gonna do it on a fast speed, we'll see how long it takes. You're gonna see. It. So I'll tell you that. I love do kitting up, but it's very hard to do kitting up when you have a lot of static. And especially if your baggies are small and tiny, like these ones, and there's only like, how to say, not even so much, where it was. Let's say this amount of the diamonds in, and it's all static, and try to get it out from this little baggie. Yeah, I can blow there in, but it's kind of pain in the butt. And then as many times you could see probably how many times my diamonds was flying away. But yeah, it's done. It took me one hour. My neck hurts. My shoulders actually hurt. I need to ask my partner to do my massage for my shoulders. So another thing which one I wanted to let you know. Uh, do you remember I asked what the ECRU uh, means? Because I didn't know. So some people commented down below and they let me know that at, it's actually nothing. It's just diamond color without a DMC code. So apparently in a, um, they use this one in cross-stitching. So it doesn't mean anything. It's just a, a color without a DMC code. So it's normal color, color without any coatings or nothing. So yeah, guys, it took me two trays uh, from this one as well. I need to clean it up all the mess. From this one, as you can see, there's a many colors as well in. Nearly all of them is used. If we swap in on these sides, all the empty on this side, and all the full ones on that side, it's basically half of it it's used as well. So, yeah, my kidding up is finished for this gorgeous painting and I'm probably gonna see you on my next video where I'm gonna start working on it I'm gonna try to record just from beginning if not you're gonna see just recording when I'm already working on a painting so yeah guys two trays 70 colors where is my stickers under here so, dinosaur battle. Good luck for me. Square, a lot of static. Yeah, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. Let me know in the comment section below. Did you find it hilarious how many times my diamonds was falling out? And yeah, I'm exhausted for today after all this kitting up with the static. And we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you want, you can put some comment down below as well. Find the emoji with the dinosaur and leave it in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Until the next time. Bye.